Hi, this is Stephen Katz with Skyladder Drones. Wanted to give you a quick overview of the mapping and 3D modeling we just completed for the Point Doom Club of Malibu, who unfortunately lost three homes during uh, the horrible Woolsey fire, which happened in November 2018. We documented this on January 4th, 2019, and as you'll see, uh, the heroic efforts of the residents and owners of the Point Doom Club saved probably most of the community, as you'll see from some of the images that we're about to show. So the first image that we will show is uh, we'll be navigating right here on the left side. And if you want to be able to see it more, you can just open and close this screen. We're going to start off with a 2D map, and this is an ortho mosaic. So this is stitching together 494 photos, and the individual photos are down here. And you can zoom in, and as you can see, where the color changes is kind of the mapping area. So this is the area we mapped. This region right here is the Point Doom Club of Malibu, so you can scroll around. You can zoom in by using the plus sign or the minus sign, and then you can also zoom in using your mouse. So as you can see, it's like Google Earth, except the resolution as we slide off the map, for example, you'll see Google Earth resolution goes down significantly. Right here, here we go. So here's a comparison of what we mapped and the resolution of Google Earth in the same spot. So if we scroll back over, and zoom in, uh, you can see the south east corner uh, of the property is what was damaged and um, unfortunately included one of my friend's homes. And you can see the three homes that were lost in the neighborhood. But you can also zoom in at any place here. This is a great tool for the um, for the association and the owners to be able to assess uh, the damage. So as you can see, as you zoom in, you can see the textures of the property and you can actually see the topography underneath that what used to be heavy brush. So besides the three homes that were damaged, um, uh, which you'll see here, um, you also, the, the, the waste treatment trap ha plant had some damage also. We have some uh, not notations. If you click on it, you can see the longitude and latitude of this. And this was uh, the area that had uh, the burnt out homes. So you can mark that here on the map or mark things for each other to share. Uh, for example, the clubhouse. One of the other real neat things is that you can also see a 3D model here. So if you click on 3D model, not only do you have that map, of what it looks like, we now we also have a 3D model. So as we zoom in, you can change it from standard definition to high definition. And you can hold down the control key and click and go around and you can see the whole community. And more importantly, you can see how the fire, if we spin around, kind of made its way down this valley here. So let's scroll down and then zoom in. And you can see it came down the valley, destroying everything on the ridge here. On the other side of the ridge, this whole community was devastated. And I didn't focus the mapping on that, but you'll see, uh, I'll show you another screen. So it came down the valley, went around the, the waste treatment plant. And unfortunately, besides the homes across the 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 valley here unfortunately burnt the homes here on the on the ridge line so this is a a 3d model created from those same four, 494 or 500 pictures and as you can see this fire the fire went all the way down to the beach um, and thank god the restaurant down here at the sunset restaurant was saved but unfortunately the home here on this ridge was also lost the whole community of Point Doom Club was very lucky um, that it was only these three houses that were destroyed. And again, there were people with buckets and shovels putting out fires throughout the day and night to help save this community. 
one of the other tools we have. So you can also, with this, export uh, some files. You can export a point cloud, but the PDF, which would give you a PDF of this, 124 megabyte JPEG of this, which would be able to create a big wall map. Um, this is the GeoTIFF, which is a, a TIFF file that's georeferenced. And then the 3D model, which I'm about, which I just showed you, which is what you're seeing here on the screen, is actually this OBJ file. So, for example, architects can use that OBJ file to uh, place a house here on the ridge and put it in the context of what it'll look like as relations to other homes here. But in the real world context, not a month old, year old. Um, Google Earth image, um, but actually what it looks like. One of the other things that we can do, and you just click on back on data and you can switch back to 2D mode to 3D mode. One of the other things you can do, this is my own portal, is we have that same uh, image. As you can see, you can see the color of the image right there where the edge of the images are, right? Of the, our mapping versus uh, kind of the Google Earth mapping. If we uh, kind of zoom in over this ridge line, what you're able to do is, let's look at the burnt out homes. What you're able to do with our portal, and we can work with you if you're interested in having access to this, but what you, we can do is compare uh, the Google map view to our mapping. And as you can see, you can see the before and after. The homes, the beautiful homes on the on the hillside um, on Wildflower Road, and unfortunately the loss after the fire. So this allows kind of a before and after view, um, which is uh, real helpful for uh, showing the damage. For example, the damage to the waste treatment plant if there are buildings damaged, you know what things it, were burnt up to. You can also use this for uh, brush mitigation. So we could fly this, um, you know, throughout the year or during the summer months uh, or right before after spring to see how the growth comes back to see how you would like to clear. And as you can see, you can see the brush. It was very thick brush here, here in the valley here that was all destroyed, except for a few trees right near the edge. We um, also, uh, even more sadly, is the, the homes across the ravine here. So we didn't focus on, on this, um, but as you can see from the, at the top, you can see Point Dune Club, but you can also see the homes down here on the bottom, this beautiful home on the, on the ridge. Um, if we zoom in a little bit, you can see how I'm sorry, this beautiful home on the ridge, I, I didn't map that one. You can see how this whole hillside has been destroyed. So before the homes here, one, two, three, and then after, completely devastated. Real sad, real sad. So, but the, the benefits of uh, 3D mapping with a drone is that it's extremely high resolution, as you can see. And not only is it high resolution, right, we can see it down to the arrow on the street, you know, we can see a lot of detail. And this actually was flown at the highest resolution, at the lowest resolution, kind of flying very high. So again, you can imagine how much more detail we could get if we wanted to focus on a specific neighborhood or a specific community. So I thank the Point Doom Club for letting myself and our students uh, uh, be on site, uh, be able to donate this to you as a community, and we hope you uh, rebuild and uh, stay out of harm's way for many, many years. Thanks so much, and have a great day.